Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My name is Andrew Wood, and I'm the team manager of the University of Shaftesbury Motorsport Team. Um, I'd like to welcome you here tonight to celebrate the launch of our 2011 Formula Student Entry um, here at the Thistle Hotel in Glasgow. It's fantastic to see so many people here tonight to celebrate the team and their team achievements and the members. Uh, tonight we're unveiling USM 11, the culmination of 10 months of dedication, hard work, and extremely long hours and early, late nights and early mornings. For those of you who are less familiar with the Formula Student Project, it's a worldwide initiative where our teams of students uh, are challenged to design, build, and uh, market and race a single seat race car. Over the last 12 years, a lot has changed within the team. Uh, there's a team now consisting of over 50 students from across the departments of faculties of engineering and business together. Uh, the student is one of the best examples of a truly multidisciplinary project. Uh, we're here for the most important part tonight, which is hopefully why you're all here. Um, we're going to take a short while to tell you the story how we got from where we began from scratch in August to what we have here tonight. So pass over to Amy Boland for take over. Thank you. Okay, so this all started last August when um, USM 11's predecessor, USM X, competed in the former student UK and former student Germany competitions. Uh, with one of our most successful results to date, we finished a, res a respectable fifth in the UK and 19th overall at the Silverstone competition and 3rd out of the UK competitors and 41st overall at the Formula Student Germany. We were the only team who competed, the, the UK team, sorry, to finish the endurance event. In order to build upon the success, the new team management got together in August and worked out the new team structure, uh, allocated design subsystems such as drivetrain, engine and suspension, and also responsibilities within the team such as team manager, Andrew Wood, who spoke to you there, and Gavidis Kisilyova, so Jock as we call him, who is the technical director. From here, decisions could start to be made as to how the team would progress and what the main design implementations would be. As the initial design stage got underway, so did the sponsorship drive for 2010-2011. As part of the fifth year team members' final year project, the team started an intensive driver training programme held at Knock Hill Racing Circuit. These training sessions involved a 6 a.m. start, a lot of time spent in the wind and the rain, and also a higher van courtesy of team sponsor Alan Clark, without which this training would not have been possible. Due to some of the problems with the reliability and availability of replacement parts encountered during the testing of our previous engine, the Honda CBR600 F4i, the team made the decision to bring forward by one year the engine upgrade to the Honda CBR600RR. Despite the height of the exam season at Strathclyde, USM's in-depth knowledge of fireproof underwear successfully secured an early registration slot for the Formula Student Germany competition, and we also successfully registered for the UK competition at Silverstone. Having finalised the chassis design, jigs for aiding the chassis manufacturer were designed and sent off to laser components. These jigs ensured that the chassis would be able to accurately take welded together in accordance with how we designed the chassis itself in CAD. With exams out of the way, the fun began in February with the commencement of the build phase of the car. We spent hours filing and profiling tubes. The welding consumables we received from Premier Welding Services were put to good use and the chassis started to take shape. With the decision to change the, to the Honda CBR600RR engine came the opportunity to use slipper clutches. These will enable the car to have a much smoother and more efficient clutchless downshift and were kindly donated to the team by team sponsor Tandlin in April this year. The semi-automatic gear shift, which the car will operate, is operated by compressed air tank. This was another donation, this time from Stacco, the tank manufacturers, in the process. Late May also saw us take delivery of our custom differential mounts and dry sum from long-standing team sponsor Global Datum. The month of June has been the busiest yet for us in the lab, with everyone pulling together in order to put the finishing touches to the car in order to have it ready to launch this evening. We have gratefully taken delivery of some of our custom components, including front and rear hubs, brake pedal and steering wheel from manufacturing sponsor Tandlin. From the launch tonight to tonight, there will be a few days rest while we celebrate the wedding of Stuart, one of our senior team members, before getting straight back into the lab and to put the final touches 
onto the car before shakedown testing at Dock Hill. This will ensure that the car is ready to compete at the Formula Student UK competition at Silverstone between the 13th and 17th of July. When we return from Silverstone, we will aim to improve upon our performance there with further car testing and driver training before 11 of us board a flight to Germany. There, we will meet the three remaining members who have driven the car in a van, I add, across Europe to compete with the Formula Student Germany competition at Hockenheim on the 3rd to the 7th of August. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for is almost upon us, so I'd like to show you a short video just in the run-up to the launch of the car.
Somehow I'm still here to explain That the darkest hour never comes in the night You can sleep with a gun when you gotta wait